Okay, so welcome back everyone. Uh, yeah, I'm a bit embarrassed to say I need to do a clean up today because the uh, lovely wife isn't too happy. <laughs> and um, uh, you know I've taken on the project of, of uh, Luke from Luke and Sarah Off Grid, their engine, which is um, easy to do if I had the space. I'll just show you some uh, of the space I have available. So this is uh, chaos. Not chaos, darling. This is where we store stuff. <laughs> uh, I obviously need to clean up. My, I've got a terrible habit of just uh, abandoning. The, the bee stuff's quite tidy, to be honest. That's because I made you do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so yeah, I've got a tie. This is the engine. Sorry, this is the engine in bits, as you can see. Lovely new pistons. And it goes on and on and on and over here and over here. So I have to make a sort of platform to put this on, which is at uh, the back of the van height, because I can back my van into here. Because you can imagine, you know, all this stuff together is going to be about 300 kilos, maybe a bit more. So I need to be able to manoeuvre that into the back of the van. Um... So I'm going to make a platform to sit it on, and I want to make that platform here somewhere where all this stuff is. This Magador and the uh, um, chipper thing and stuff. So yeah, I want to put it here. So what I'm going to have to do is, if I zoom out, <laughs> clear all this mess, uh, make the wife happy and make me happy, and I might even, Fine, even... Thanks. At the same time, tidy the workshop as well. Yeah, because that, that needs to happen.
Okay everyone, I'm just about to make breakfast. Uh, we're going to have a couple of mushrooms that we found in Max's area. Um, just wanted to do a bit of explaining um, about mushroom recognition more than anything. Uh, these are shaggy parasols. And the best way to positively identify mushrooms is uh, letting them sit like this overnight. And then if you take, turn them over see what happens here yeah so shaggy parasol mushrooms have white spores which you can see here that's a, a, a real good way of positively identifying what these are so these beautiful things are going to be fried up for breakfast So in the vain attempt of making more space and being more organised, I've decided uh, to repair this uh, filing cabinet, which as a lot of you know, uh, filing cabinets, they can be a right pain because of this. So they're built in a lock that builds in so you can obviously lock all the drawers, but within that mechanism are these silly little things, which go on the side of here. Yeah, like so, and it stops. Hang on. So what they do is they stop you opening more than one drawer at a time, yeah, by pushing this lever up and down. So what I've done is removed them all because they always cause trouble when you get doors broken up and smashed and bent, lever it open, because that mechanism very often goes wrong. So I'm re building all this because the drawers are ripped out at the bottom of here so I'm rebuilding with, with all these um, these little bits that slide in and out of here and stuff like so everything's on a bearing yeah so the drawers come right out so rebuilding all this so that uh, I can then use this in the workshop for screws and nails and things so now it's fixed we'll um Put it in a workshop. Right, it is. Ah, heavy enough. Oh, God. Okay everyone, so here it is at the minute, a little bit tidier here, and what we've done is Luke's engine is now here, and uh, the big bit of it, the main engine block is there. Uh, on this bench I've made up nice and sturdy um, to start putting it all together. So I've got plenty of room now, uh, and I'm even with the filing cabinet and stuff, even starting to make sense in the workshop now, tidying things up here. It's just this little area to go. but. Before I do that, oh, hang on, hang on, I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, look what we've bought. Got a new toy. Yeah, because we had to get the right torque settings to put this together, and I never had, I've never had a torque wrench here. I used to always use my father's. So there we go. Yeah, so so a new toy for for uh, putting the engine back together. And now I've got a little job to do for Andrea. She said she needs me to pick four lines. Yeah, four lines, so here goes. Ooh. <laughs> Ow. A bit spiky. One. Two. God, they smell lovely. Three. This one or that one? 
Hold on this one. Oh, whoops. Four lines, maybe not this bit. I'll poke it in the ground somewhere. See if that works. Don't tell Ange. Hey you. Hello, have you my lines? Got your four lines. Oh, thank you. Lovely. So what you making? Key lime pie. Okay, so key lime pie. Yes. Okay. Okay, so yeah. I'm going to have got 150 grams of butter that I'm just going to melt. Graham cracker version, I yeah. think, is the closest to the United States. So these are like really oaty ones. So I'm putting them in here. Says hopefully. Sadly, this is a 425 gram packet, which means there might be a couple left over for me. Yeah. What is it? Well, that my, tool. Oh, my new little. It, it's come. It's got a little uh, whisk with it. It's a normal blender and one of these, which wow. is brilliant. So, oh. even if you tip that in as well. So, what is it? Is it a Bosch? Yes. A Bosch Max Mix. Mix. Wow. This makes a lovely buttery biscuit base. A buttery biscuit base? Yes. Wow. It's butter's melted, that is. <laughs> and this, we're putting in our little flan dish thing here. I'm using a, a glass one only because normally you'd use like a uh, loose bottomed one, but I like to keep the, the pie in there and you can cut on that quite easily as well without, because the, the other ones are normally um, non-stick and they scratch like mad if you cut into them. So, so this looks fairly good now, nicely mixed together. A little bit more butter there to scratch down. So that's a quick base done. So we'll squash that in there.
Mm. Even that just smells really good, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So this then gets put into the oven. It's on quite a low temperature, so at 140 uh, degrees C. I'm sorry, I don't know what that is off the top of my head on uh, Fahrenheit, but I'm going to put that in. And that just goes in for sort of 10 minutes or so just to, to cook that. <laughs> Adds a bit of crunch to it. I'm sure there's better ways of doing this than I am. But... Well, that's what people crack it in their hands and let the thing oh, run through really? there. Yeah, yeah, all sorts of stuff. So we're now going to the whisk attachment. <laughs> I should press the wrong button, that's the release one. Uh. <laughs> so just give it a little. Thank you, my glamorous assistant. of condensed milk. Um, this is a whole tin, the 397 gram one, apparently that's how much I need. So sadly for Nick there won't be any for him to eat. Another super healthy recipe that we do. <laughs> you know, loads of butter, condensed milk, egg yolks, it's uh, yeah. this one up now.
good. I'll just take that off. Right, into this we're putting, um, as you saw Nick pick earlier, some limes, and we're putting the juice and zest of four limes into this. Mm -hmm. um, I like to use this one, it's a little bit coarser, but it sort of gives a bit more texture, I think, so I'm going to... Actually, I may as well put it straight into there, haven't I? Yeah, makes sense. <laughs> it makes sense. <laughs> So we'll do this with the four lines we've got. God, it smells absolutely divine. Don't know what it is with lines. Okay, so th that's the four zesty bits done. A little bit left there. I'll take that off in a minute. So then we uh, juice them. And that goes in here as well. And the flushy bits? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We like lime. We like lime. Well, there's no pips in these ones, which is really good. So, you, you, you know, we're not going to get little surprises in. So that's that. And then that gets whisked a bit more. Right, so we've just taken this out of the oven and I need to let that cool down a bit now and then once that's cool we'll put the topping on and then that cools for at least three hours and then we finish it off with some mm. creamy, limey topping. And while that's cooling uh, I'm going to go into the, uh, what's it called, the new... My special little room. And his, <laughs> and his special room. I've yet to add the padding. Um, <laughs> and put Sandy. the final coat of paint on. So, Andrea also informs me that we are doing ceiling as well. So, I'm doing these joints. Oh, ah. <laughs> really badly. Was the cork, wasn't it? Wasn't me fighting. Lovely. Only a few more to do. A few more. So what's happened? Right, well this is called now the buttery biscuity base, so I can put the, the topping on. Get that all out, because this then goes back into the oven. It's very green. It's because it's got limes in it, Daniel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
and you know make and it all out. <laughs> Concentrate in face. <laughs> How would you clean that spoon off? You're not licking that. No. Really? <laughs> I'm allowed to. Oh. Oh. Wow. So we'll put that in the oven. For how long? I can't remember. 15 minutes, this? Yes, it is. It's quarter of an hour. <laughs> <laughs> so here goes. As always, you cut, cut in your edges first, but actually it doesn't matter so much now because we're doing the ceiling as well. So I'll just uh, quickly rip along here. Obviously, this bit above the door will have to paint by hand, uh, by hand, by brush, because the roller will be too big for this. Yeah. tip when you're using a roller for painting guys always make sure you get the roller wet and then get the excess water off it a wet roller roller will then soak up um, paint easier yeah I'm using quite a fine roller here because uh, well there's no texture on the surface or anything so So I now need to leave this cool for at least three hours. Well, I'll let it cool down and then I can chill it for three hours and then has the uh, double cream, like whipped up topping with grated zest, lime zest on it. So that's later. So we have to wait for this to cool down. Cool pie, cool. Cool pie, cool. <laughs> so there we go. That's the uh, room, second coat finished. Uh, just wait for that to dry and then I can do the ceiling. I know I should have done the ceiling first, but the ceiling's a metal paint, so it, uh, yeah, I prefer it to do it this way around. Anyway, all done and uh, looking lovely. And um, let's go and see how that pie is doing. So you cheating? Yeah. Oh, running out. <laughs> so we've got half a key lime pie. Yeah, that's right. Well, that's um, you going in the fridge and taking. I never from. ever do that. Um, 
Yeah, okay, so what are we gonna we, we couldn't find double cream so we uh, we had some squirty stuff in the fridge and now I'm just gonna spread this with a with a spatula over the top just to um, make the best make the best of it basically. <laughs> Don't try this at home folks. Yeah, get some double cream. We couldn't find double cream honestly. Um, there you it's go. a nightmare. Fresh cream is Almost yeah. non existent at times, it's so frustrating. Well, in hot countries, yeah. Yeah. There you go, I mean, it's a bit healthier then. A bit healthier, what? Less green? Yeah. <laughs> so. Let me just need a little dolloping. No, that's going on the cake. Oh, okay. Hang on, but let's go. Really not fair. <gasps> Really not fair. Yeah. And to finish? And to finish a little, little bit more lime, just Hang in on. case we haven't got enough. Alright, I'm gonna get this from a different angle. of our own lime tree. Yeah. Brilliant. Oh my god, this is going to taste so good. Oh, I need a cup of tea with it though. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. No, don't. By the way, don't roll your limes in the in the cream. It's probably not a good thing to do. No, but hey-ho. <laughs> Don't do it twice either. That's right. Even I'm going to stop now. Just leave it. Just, just leave it. Just leave it. No, don't grate cream into it. <laughs> okay, so uh, cream disaster, like <laughs> key lime pie. Um, How big a piece would you like? Keep going. <laughs> there. Yeah, that. That's looking very, very nice. So this obviously should have been in a smaller tin, so everything's much thicker, but a uh, tin, plate, dish, whatever. Uh, Ange has a personal preference to serving in this Perspex dish because you can just leave it in the fridge now, like this, and it will stay there for nearly a day, I should imagine. <laughs> Uh, but you, you know what I mean. If if it was in a um, oh, what they call Teflon based thing, oh, the, the loose all, bottom yeah. tin. Yeah, the loose bottom tin would scratch, etc. So I like it this way because then I can go when Anne goes to bed. I can sneak <laughs> in and cut a little piece off for myself, and she never know the difference. Oh really? Yeah. There you go. So there let's you. let's give it a try, shall we? So this is key lime pie. Uh, but it, a, a thinner version, okay? I wish we all were thinner versions, that would be lovely. But... Oh, oh, oh. How is it? Oh. Is it good? Um, you tell me. Yeah. That is really good. It's amazing. It tastes like lime <laughs> and biscuits. No, it's just really good. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. So, on that note, everyone, um, nom, 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 nom. make some key lime pie. So this Definitely. recipe is just absolutely awesome. Yeah, um, mm, there's not going to be much left of that in a few days. I, I'll guarantee it. But. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for your likes and subscribes. So, you know, well, likes, subscribes, <laughs> and thanks for ringing that notification bell. Ding, 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 ding. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.